Let's talk about flexibility. There's a character trait that is incredibly important in your world. Really important in horsemanship. I love the choke cherry bush. It's a it's sort of a Wyoming fruit staple. Wyoming isn't a state known for its great fruit. But the choke cherry grows tons of berries that feed all the animals. What I love best about it, this is an old bush. This is an old willow right here. But it's flexible. It bends with time, it bends with the wind, and it always stays strong. Right? Glass can be beautiful in so many ways. It, it can be turned into some of the most gorgeous creations, but there's no flexibility in it. And when the first thing hits it, it cracks and shatters. Okay? I want my life to be like a choke cherry. I want to be able to flex and bend and make changes when I have to, especially in my horsemanship. If your horsemanship is so rigid that it's like glass and you have this, it has to be this way, you're going to discover things crack and shatter frequently. But when you start putting yourself in a frame of mind that says, I want this to work best for the horse. How can I make this work best for the horse? I may have to change some of what I'm doing. I may have to be flexible in my plan. My goal today was to go down to the arena and work on my barrel patterns. My goal today was to go down to the arena and work on my roping. My goal today was to take my horse for an incredibly beautiful trail ride. But when I get there, my horse says, I'm scared. My horse says, I'm angry. My horse says, I don't understand. And, a, and a struggle ensues. You have to ride your horse where he's at today, right? You can't ride him where you want him to be. You have to ride him where he's at. You have to become flexible. And what I have noticed <coughs> is that the more flexible I become, the more my horse learns from me and the quicker my horsemanship progresses. The more I act like the choke cherry bush, the quicker my horse learns to follow my leadership, right? Slavery was abolished in this country in 1865. Thank God it was. Your horse is not a slave. Not even close. Let's not make him a slave. Let's actually understand what makes him tick, put forth the most amount of effort we can, and that will change the way you deal with others. When you start becoming flexible in your horsemanship, you'll be amazed how quickly you become flexible with people around you. When you learn not to give in, that's not what I'm talking about, not to quit, not to let someone else push you around, but when you learn to become flexible, when you learn to become shapeable, even your walk with God will change because you start understanding where he's pointing you and it becomes easier for you to follow his direction.